Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, Bundle Monster 2014 Create Your Own Set. Now this set come with a thing, came with 20 plates, and when I bought this in November, when it had first come out, um, they had a deal going on where this was $12.00. And if you typed in a certain code, you would get two free stampers. Now, at first I didn't really care for these stampers because they're they're not like the Winstonia and they're they're really pretty hard and before like compared to this one, before um I didn't prime them, I never really thought about priming them. And then after I primed them, they worked a lot better. Um before they were just kinda Taking the image like where the where there's a lot darker here and it would like splotch it out in some weird shape. So I didn't care for them. So now I like them a little better and I'll show you um, on some of the plates um, how these work compared to the other ones. So here's the collection. Um, this one took me a while to do because I had some problems with a uh, bundle monster themselves, but that problem was resolved. I'm not mad at bundle monster by any means, but. Just the same, you know, plates don't work sometimes, and it just happens in shipping, so... Or not in shipping, in production, so... So, these are the plates. Like I said, it comes with 20, and they all come with this uh, blue film, just right here on the top. And it's pretty easy to pull off some days. And really easy to uh, pull off. So, here they are, and I'll go ahead and uh, show you them all one by one. So, this is uh, a 601 very retro with all their uh, Game Boys. This always looks like a calculator to me, so Game Boys, Hearts, um, a cassette player, there we are, cassette tape, and some um, records. There we go. Come on, brain. Function a little faster for me. But this does set did take me a while. Um, I had most of it, but some of the plates did not um, end up working for me, as well as I actually did not receive a plate. So it took me probably a month to get it all, because it was around Christmas time, and Bundle Monster was just absolutely crazy. So, there's 602. Here is 603. Lots of tribal and some Indians and a hatchet. And here is 604. I feel like a lot of these could be used for um, stripe, ma stripe tape manis. You use them, you know. A lot of people do this one with some ombre, and I'm like, yeah, that looks so much easier just to do it with this. So I might just do that and give it a shot one day. And here is 605. This is a plate I did not receive, and I didn't realize I didn't receive it until I was about to make this video. So, here is 605, here is 606, this is one of the plates that I could not get to work. Um, the designs here were too thin and were not picking up, so I'll definitely go over a couple of these in this one, especially these two right here, as well as I believe it was this one. Alright, here is 607. Lots of geometrics, some patchwork. Here is 608. I really like this shattered glass look here. And here is 609. Lots of like cog wheels and steel prints. Here is six ten. This is also one of them that I had re or had to get replaced because this um, just kind of didn't seem right to me and this one still doesn't but maybe that that is just the design and I didn't realize it but as well as these up here weren't stamping correctly anyway and I believe this did not stamp correctly 
there's 610. And here is 611 of the dinosaurs, which I absolutely love because they are so cute. Here is 612. Lots of Egyptian and stuff. I actually didn't realize what this one was until I got it. And when I saw what it was, I was like, that is really cool when, after I stamped it. So if you guys can't see what it is, I think the stamp will probably show it a little better when I show you all the stamps. Here is 413. Oh, not 413, 613. Lots of animal faces, cheetah, tiger, leopard, cute little fox and some slashes, and just a cheetah, or not a cheetah, a tiger print. And this is another one of them I had to replace. The uh, milk bottles weren't uh, engraved deep enough. So, there's that one. Here is 615. Lots of unicorns and very fairy tale ish. Got a little gnome. I have a friend who loves unicorns, so she absolutely loves this plate. Here we have BM616. Very florally. Here we have 617. Lots of Chinese type prints. I really like this one here. The little China dolls are cute too. Here is 618. Lots of geometrics and flowers. Mostly flowers, I think. Okay, and here is 619. I think this is one everyone really wanted when they saw this collection. The whole keep calm and polish on. This is another one I had to have replaced because the uh, polish bottles weren't engraved deep enough, so they were missing some on the outside. And I will um, show you the plates that I did get replaced compared to the ones that you know are replaced now, my new ones, so you can kind of see the difference. There's that one. <laughs> And lastly, we have 620. And so here it is. Lots of hearts and stuff. And here's some shoes, some ballet shoes. And there's this here. It says Detour France. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be Tour de France, like the bike race, and something's wrong here. I don't know exactly. But that's, that's the plate I have, so that's what I have. Alrighty, so I'll go ahead and um, clean up and show you some of the uh, stamps I did. Alright, so here they all are. Um, I just did it on paper because it's easier than doing the 600 odd or whatever designs that are on there on my fingers. So... And show them to you. Oh, wait, this is actually the uh, wrong paper. I think. Yep, that's the wrong one. Okay, so here are the images. Um, I figured it was easier to stamp it on paper rather than do it, you know, the hundred some odd designs that they are on my nail. So, just go through them. This was what the, um, this is when I first stamped and when I found out that some of them didn't work, so that's what the uh, polish bottles used to look like. And that's just, um, this one here is just my old stamper, so that has nothing to do with the stamp itself. That's all in my old stamp one. So any lines you see in it, like this one or this full image design, is just all on my stamper. It's not bad because I didn't get it I had to get it fixed. So there's the POW one. That was one of them I had to get replaced. Here's that image that I was talking to you about about how um if you didn't realize what it was that this is the 
what it looks like. It's like a silhouette of a lady, and she's got a skull face instead, so I think it's pretty neat. There's the unicorn. And this is why I had to get the this one replaced, because the lines weren't coming down, and I lost some of the images because of it. And this is the one that had the uh, hatchet on it. All the lines weren't coming through, and here, that exact same image is actually over here. It really did not want to transfer over. And there it is with the uh, arrows. You can see, most of them transferred over really well. There was only a couple that I actually had to get replaced, so... In the milk bottles, as you can see uh, right here, didn't quite get edged in deep enough there, so... So yeah, that's that one, and I will uh, go ahead and set up and stamp some of uh, 605 for you guys. Alright, so here's plate 605 again, just in case you didn't remember quite what it looks like. A lot of geometrics and such. little dream catcher. So, again, I don't use stamping polishes. Um, I do have some currently on the way, but they're just for a different purpose is the reason I have them coming. Um, any thick polish will work, so that's just what I use. I just use thick polishes. Uh-oh, looks like 605 might be having some problems. Right, let's clean this up. Let's try again. It might be just this image, because the rest of them look like they're pretty good, but it might be my stamper, too. Let's try the Bundle Monster Stamper. Okay, that one transferred quite a bit better. So, here we go. There is... That one, if my camera will focus. Okay, so I did realize that my ceiling fan was on, so that might have been um, the problem. Um, I also did switch out to what I usually stamp with rather than just my uh, tester one, because my tester one just might be old and like super thick, so that might be that problem. So let's try this one again. Let me switch out stamper heads for, I think this one. This might be the same one I just pulled out of it. I don't know. I just did a shuffle over there, so. There we go. There we go. That one picked up a little bit better. Still missing some of it, but those designs just might be too thin. It might just be the stamp itself, so. Alright, go ahead and go with um, this little geometric one here. And we'll have to see if uh, priming the other one definitely helped get rid of that splotchiness. that one. I, I definitely think it's this stamper head. It might not just be primed entirely. So. Alright. Alright, so I switched it out for one of my old um, stamper heads that um, they worked, but they just had that line in them, so I didn't like them. So we'll try this again. See if this one works, and it might just be the stamp. I don't, I don't know exactly because this is the first time I got this set, so or this stamp in particular. And that seemed to have picked up much better, but that's the this is the stamp with the line in it, so that line's gonna be there. So 
it, it definitely looks like I just have to keep priming them until I get them to where I need them to be. So there's that one. And let's do this little feather. See how well it turned out. But let's use one of these bundle monster stamps. Um, the stamps actually did um, come with scrapers, but I don't like the scrapers. They were just um, plastic, kind of like ones you'd get with, um, kind of like the Salon Perfect one. It's that same shape, but without the metal. For some odd reason, the feather's not doing what it's supposed to be doing, so I'm going to try scraping it this way instead. That's not looking too good. Okay. Should we clean with acetone and let's see if we can do it one more time. I may just have to get this one replaced again. And hopefully I don't have to fight like I did last time. I think I sent like three emails out, possibly, to just to get them from them. And it may be the stamper, so we'll see. Um, nope, that's that's definitely the image. Okay, so it looks like I'm probably going to have to get 605 replaced. Um, not a big deal, you know, sometimes that happens with stamps in production, but... Alright, I'll go ahead and um, show you some of the plates that work and don't work, so you guys can kind of, you know, see what exactly all of them look like and such, so... Okay, so here are all the ones that um, I got replaced, and they're with the one that's the new one. So, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty obvious, but I'm sure you can kind of see, you know, which one is the replacement, and or which one was the original, and which is the new one. So, see how the lines are thicker, and it's a little harder to see, and not nearly as etched in deep as the other ones. Like, it's hard to see this word right here. I believe it says wizard there. Hoovrin? I, I don't know what that means. But, um, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to see, and it's definitely not the way the light's shining on it, because even if you, uh, move them, you know, it's still much harder to see, and they're a little they're just not etched in deep enough, so they're really, really thin, fine lines, so the polish dries in them really quick, so. That one was obviously replaced. So, there's that one. And then this one, 606. And there again, pretty, uh, pretty easy to tell. I actually forgot. <laughs> You can see where the thinner lines are. You can almost always tell. I can usually feel if it's not going to pick up because of how thin they feel. I definitely have not tested these, so I definitely need to go through and test them. But from what I've seen, they definitely look better. So that makes me excited. So I'll have to uh, test them probably just off camera and see if they work. And I'll let you guys know. There's that one. Here is 610. So here's the replaced one, or the one I had to get replaced. Much thinner lines. And my pattern problem that I thought I had here doesn't actually seem to be a problem. So I was just worried because it, it looked really broken up and everything. So I knew it kind of was, but it was just this side right here that made me wonder if there was actually something wrong with the plate. So there's that one. Here is... This one, so you can see the uh, milk bottles like right here. You're missing like part of your milk jug, and you can even feel that there's nothing there. But over here, you can definitely see that there is 
all the milk jugs. Milk carton containers, whatever you want to call them. And here is 619. And so you can see the polish bottles are missing a bit on each side. So, And then here you can see that they're not missing at all. So, um, overall, I really like this, even though I did have a problem with Bundle Monster, but, um, you know, that happens sometimes, it's life, you know, this was a big collection, everyone wanted, and so many orders went out, and they probably need to replace a lot, so, like I said, not mad or anything, um, I can go into more detail, um, a later date, but that's my review of them, um, as for the stamper heads, I think they just need primed a little bit more, I don't know, so... I'll have to um, come back another day, maybe when they're primed a little more. So, alrighty, well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, you know, whatever. So, um, thanks for watching. Bye.